Today we're going to document my 2022 yearbook for Rise of Kingdoms on my main account, my restart account, and even my farm probably has some pretty crazy stats. Let's get started. Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming and every year when the yearbook shows up, I make a video showcasing my stats and it's actually really interesting to see how my stats have changed year over year. So let's kick this off with my main account and see how things look. Now, at the moment, I'm about 112 million power and I'm battling in KVK and of course that number's going down. However, at the start of the year, I was Germany. In the beginning of my journey in this game, I actually was Japan. And that date where I started was the 2018, 925, September 25th. This year, I've been three civilizations. So I've been Germany, I've been Viking, and I've probably been Ottoman, if I had to guess, for the three civilizations I would have uh, sort of chosen this year. Uh, I have served as a devoted governor for 1,787 hours, waging war on 365 days. My biggest power gain, by the way, in my entire time playing this game since 2018, uh, was for 57 million, okay? And that is definitely my highest. Last year, my record was 38 million. So it's only getting more and more insane. I was in Kingdom Lugal at the start of uh, the year. That's Kingdom 1075. And I'm now in Kingdom 254, which is why I says I've traversed two equally scenic kingdoms. In total, I've been to more than that. I started in 51, migrated to 39, then 75, and then ultimately 254, which is where I am now. From here, barbarians, passes, and holy sites. Uh, Three million medals of the conqueror testify my might. Is that expedition currency? <laughs> okay. Almost 40,000 barbarians. And yes, of course, I've defeated a level 55 barb, but this is where things get interesting. I believe this is the screen where they tell me, yep, how many gems? Eight and a half million gems. Last year, it was 7.2 million gems. So Rise of Kingdoms has found ways to get me to spend more, and I'm kind of not surprised. So eight and a half million gems committed here. I gathered resources 11,699 times, accumulating over 10.2 billion resources in total. My preference was for wood, apparently. So I don't know. Interpret that how you will. An incredible 3.5 billion wood gathered. I think this is because it's the least preferable resource, but often the one that you can find the easiest. And even if you search in a really crowded kingdom, you're probably not finding gold. You're probably not finding a lot of food. And after you gather up the food nodes, I mean, there's mostly going to be wood nodes. So I think in the pecking order, it's gold, then food, then wood. Not for every player, obviously. And stone is the thing that like somehow nobody needs. We've paid a keen eye on your development, investing, oh yeah, 16 billion resources went into an, uh, increasing my power. So I spent not quite double the resources that I gathered, but like 60% above and beyond what I even gathered is what I would have needed just to train my troops, let alone the field fighting, by the way. So definitely a resource problem here, which is why I have a farm and definitely spending gets me a lot of resources as well. Also, obviously, you do some plundering. You've enjoyed the company of the Smash Squad Wolves. They refer to you as the founder. I, I think that's pretty fair, actually, to, to give a founder title there. Mutual respect and help provided the most resources to Kitty, while Cortex provided the most resources to you. That sounds spot on, that I would have been giving resources to Kitty, and Cortex gave me just an astonishing amount of resources. Let's cut to the next scene here. What do we got? Uh, Ark of Osiris. This has been interesting. We were in a bit of a transition period with our Ark of Osiris team where I feel like it was really strong. We got kind of soft as some players left and then we did a merge that has made us really strong, I think, again. But we have turned the tides in 24 battles in Ark of Osiris, contributing to 20 victories. High score of 464,700. An average score of 139,000. Is a pretty decent score. 119,000 brutal engagements, crushing 
326 million enemies under my boots. I did overtrain on cavalry, and it is reflected here on the screen, uh, but I trained a total of 12.2 million troops. That is not a small number. It's almost all T5. So, Roly, you know, I I'll be honest, this portion of the yearbook, I don't know how important it is. 157 rebel battles versus the Soroli chieftains, defeated them 155 times. I do occasionally do pickup groups, which is a bit of a GG. Uh, I did Peerless Scholar 150 times. Two final exams, 15 midterms, 133 preliminaries. Uh, through many a brutal conflict, Guan Yu has been my most capable commander. That does not surprise me that Guan Yu has been my most capable commander. I did select the greatest strategist as my option here, although apparently I have the lovable optimist as a choice that I could pick. Yikes. Let's crack open the yearbook on my restart account. This is currently 87 million power. We're in the middle of KVK, so I will be getting some troops back. And I actually haven't looked at this for my restart account this year, so let's get a peek here. I anticipate that my gems gained is probably in the realm of like, I want to say like one or two million. Like it should be a pretty small number compared to my main account. Started the year with Rome. So this is an infantry specialized account. I was using Rome for the march speed, the troop specialization. I felt like that was pretty solid. I'm currently using France. I think France is pretty good given that I'm spending a lot of speed ups on healing. Also has the infantry troop specialization. I, I logged in, okay, 365 days of the year and 729 hours. My personal power gain record was eight and a half million. So a far, far cry, a very far cry from the single day power gain I have on my main account at 39 million power gained. I have been in two kingdoms, uh, 1723, and then where I am now, which is 2293. I did 43,500 barbs. Is that more or less than I did on my main? I actually can't remember now, but that seems like a pretty large number. I almost never let my AP cap out on really like my main or my restart. And often my farm is fully drained of AP as well. How much have I gathered on my restart? It's kind of an interesting question. A million gems though. This makes sense. I tucked away a million gems. I, I, that sounded like the right number to me. I honestly really don't do that much spending on this account. I buy for the recharge events. And that's pretty much it. I suppose it's fair to say that I also do Lucerne Scrolls, I do Crystal Quest, and I also do the pop-up bundles for crystals when we enter KVK. I gathered 7.8 billion resources. So I mean, 10 billion on my main, 7.8 on my restart. That's pretty reasonable. And 2.5 billion went into gaining power. Yeah, on this account, I really can't do that much troop training. It's actually somewhat hard to lose troops even though i play a lot on this account like it's very weird how that works the total resources spent on this account includes 2.4 almost 2.5 billion and gold is the resource i gathered the most now this is interesting because i gathered 3 billion gold on my restart that actually might be the reason why i have less resources in total on this account compared to my main because although i log into them both all the time and I'm constantly gathering. I think the reason I have less total here is because I'm getting gold and I can get gold because in the kingdom that I'm in here, it's a smaller kingdom. And uh, I think gold is less popular compared to where my main account is. So that actually, 3 billion gold is pretty sizable. I did a huge resource trade with A99X when we were in 1723. And a big thank you to trying harder for hooking me up with a bunch of resources. Thank you, I appreciate you. It really does make a huge difference for my ability to battle in KVKs. I have not done any arc. I think this is gonna say actually zero arcs. Uh, I recruited 4.7 million soldiers. Infantry is the one I recruited the most. Uh, take part, yeah, I'm thrilling arc officer. I never do arc on this account. Not that it isn't valuable. I just don't have the time, man. I really don't. Great value if you do it in terms of rewards. I do not have time. Uh, 95 million enemies crushed under my boots. I have done slightly less Soroli on this account. 143 attempts with 138 wins. And Guan Yu is the same commander that is most valuable here. I mean, the dude is a beast. Guan Yu is a great commander. I suspect that Skippy Prime or Nevsky 
maybe Boudicca Prime will replace that in future years. Let's go with the founder on this one. We'll hit share, collect my free gems. Thank you very much. And I'll take it, man. Chiskool Gaming, the founder. I mean, I'm one of the original members, right? That works. Let's go to my farm. At the time of this recording, my farm has 77 million power. Let's see how my yearbook shapes up here. I used to be getting gem supply on this account. I do not anymore. I really don't buy almost anything if I can avoid it. So let's see how the farm stacks up. I'm very curious about the gem amount as well. So let's see here. Germany is the civilization that I started the year with. However, I'm currently Britain. And for my farm that is a fighting farm, I actually think Britain's a really top tier choice. It's got the training speed and it's got the reinforcement capacity, which is really, really good. When I pour it in near the front and stuff a flag with a 50% expansion and send my troops to die on this thing as fast as I possibly can. I've been online with this account for 400 hours, which is actually kind of insane. This account was in 1075 and now it's in 254. And I somehow gained 15 million power in a single day. That was on 1226. I'd have to look up what KVK that was, but I think that was the KVK against 846. If I'm not mistaken, I just gained an absurd amount of power because my goal was ultimately to kill off all those troops, and I still am dealing with the consequences of having so many damn archers when our kingdom rarely uses an archer garrison. That said, in this next part, let's get a look here. Wish I could make this run at double time. That would be quite nice. Can I 2x speed this, 4x speed this? 26,000 barbarians. I mean, I really don't let AP waste if I can avoid it. Although, obviously, I've killed less barbs on this account uh, than my restart or my main. I think that's just because I'm not dropping tons of AP potions. Still, 530,000 gems. I've only gotten double the gems of my farm on my account where I am spending money, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I gathered 7.5 billion resources. Gold is the resource that I've gathered the most. 2.5 billion gold gathered. And 4.6 billion resources basically went into training troops. I mean, almost exclusively training troops on this account, which is a pretty large number, actually, when you think about it. This is why having a fighting farm can be a little bit expensive. It is costing you resources to train those troops, whereas some people with their farms, they just don't train any troops at all. And now, I think the fighting farm thing is worth a lot, and we'll see how that plans out in this KVK. However, uh, mutual respect to Chiskul, <laughs> who, weirdly enough, I provided the most resources to Chiskul, and Chiskul provided me with the most resources. I suppose that'll have to remain a mystery how somehow I have both given my main account and received from my main account the most resources, but let's go to the next section here. I think I've done zero Ark of Osiris, so that should be empty. Eight million soldiers. It's all T4. This is a fighting farm. I don't have enough gold to train T5 on this bad boy. If I did, I'd train T5, but I don't. And so Archers was the favorite. This is when a Monitory Artemisia had just become a meta garrison. And I trained a ton of Archers. I think I had four or five million Archers. I mean, I could pop a 50% expansion and just slam fill any fort. And it was difficult to deal with. Um, but then I ran out of troops and then it became a problem. Anyways, let's go to the next section here. I have probably done more Soroli than I'd care to admit. 65 attempts, 64 wins. That sounds right. I used to honestly grind this on this account. I can't believe it. Ethel Fled is my most brutal and capable commander. You know, there's a part of me that thinks maybe I should just take this account and make it an alt rather than a farm, but I just don't have time for it, honestly. We'll give this one farm crazily because it's a farm, obviously. We share that with the Alliance. And we get our 50 gems. Because gems, baby. Poggers. I think the other reason why, like, this account could very obviously become an alt is that it is VIP 17. It has a ton of speed-ups accumulated. Like, a ridiculous amount. Even though I burn through them just training troops, uh, even without the Duke title, I have a ton of speed-ups in here. And... I have a lot of gold heads, like a shocking number of gold hags. Obviously, access to a bunch of different commanders here, but if I get a look, 3,477. And this is after I've stopped buying things like the pop-ups for Writer of History, which I was doing on this account, weirdly enough. I could spend some of these sculptures down 
and do like a YSS Theo Garrison, but I already have YSS YSG, which is way more firepower than a farm really needs anyways at 77 million power. So eh, we'll see what I ultimately end up doing here. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here and subscribe to the channel. I'm definitely feeling a little under the weather right now. We sent our kid to school for the very first time. She loves school. It's great. We went to pick her up on our second week of school, and I saw some kid look snotty as hell. You know, Freaking, I knew they were sick the second I saw them, and I was like, oh no, this is actually happening, isn't it? Some parents sent their kid to school sick, and now our whole family is going to get sick, and that is exactly what happened. We're all sick. I'm sick. My wife's sick. My kid is absolutely miserable. Don't send your kid to school if they're sick. Ah, oh, man. So anyways, our whole family got pwned sending our kid to school, which, you know, she's three. She's loving school. It's great. But um, gosh darn it. I'm a little wrecked today. So we'll get back to the usual cadence of videos really, really soon. That's why over the last couple of days, you really haven't seen much. But also, I'm going to talk about that more tomorrow. So subscribe. See you in the next video. And until then, you have fun smashing your enemies.